In this video we're gonna check whether it is possible to install Gcam on a Nothing Phone 3. So let's open the Play Store in order to check if we can install Gcam. It's by simply going to search and we can install an app that is called Gcamator. This is an app that allows us to check if we can actually get Gcam on, on our device. And if it's possible, then of course we can just download it. If it's not possible, we can try to get an alternative for a different phone or a version that is dedicated for another phone. But it, since the phone can be similar, um, we might be able to use that other version as well. All right. So uh, as we can see over here, we have camera to API enabled, which is a good uh, thing. However, the Gcam for this device is not ready as I am recording right now. But we can request the Gcam, so perhaps in the future, if you go to this app, um, you might already see the Gcam ready. So, uh, in this case, what we can do is we can go to Gcams over here at the bottom, and then we can search for nothing. So we can see if we have anything similar. So we have some example devices that received a dedicated Gcam version. So now what we have to do is simply find the newest version so over here we have 9.6 gcam 9.6 which is the newest one so i'm gonna download this one and we're gonna check if it's actually compatible because of course we are not downloading a version that is made specifically for uh, this phone um, there might be some bugs the app might not work at all and in some cases, the app is compatible, um, but maybe some uh, small minor uh, things are missing. All right, so once we uh, install it, once we download it, actually, we need to install it. So uh, we're going to press OK. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uh, to Files app. I believe we have to go to the Files app by Google, which is over here. Let's press Continue. And we're going to go to downloads and we should be able to find our APK file, our installer. So we're going to select it and we need to install the app. Of course, we need to grant the permission for the files app uh, to install unknown ads, apps. So we need to go to settings and allow and then we can press install. And once the app is installed, uh, we should be able to open it. You should be able to find it, for example, in the home screen, but also in the app drawer. So let's install it. Let's grant the permission. I'm not going to grant permission for location, but I'm going to grant permission for everything else. We can also allow access to manage all files. Let's press done over here. Got it. And it seems that the camera seems to be working so far. But of course, the app can crash. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the photo. All right, so we can actually take the photo. This is a good news. Let's try to zoom out. And zoom in. Okay, so it seems to be working. We can zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to also try to use the gesture. Yeah, so this one works. I'm going to also switch to the video mode. And... I guess the video mode is not working. Yeah, so it seems that uh, the video mode doesn't work, unfortunately, but the photo mode seems to be working. I'm going to also try to use a different mode. Portrait works. Night sight, photosphere. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, uh, some things are working. The video seems to be not working. Uh, you can, of course, download the app and check it out by yourself if you want to in order to find out more what works and what doesn't work. And expect the, cra the app to crash from time to time um, because, like I said, this version, this specific one that I just downloaded, is not fully compatible with this phone. So uh, you might see some bugs, crashes, and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.